Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I'm getting body blocked. Oh, Rakan. Okay. He almost, he, he almost gave me a heart attack there. <laughs> Tristana already pushing, but we can get our minions too. Oh, Pantheon was trying to cheese. All right. Hello, fellow misfortunates over on YouTube. Currently live streaming on Twitch. We're on the main account. Link to Twitch in the description, by the way. And, um... Oh, no. I'm testing out... I wanted to test out the Storm Razor more, but actually against their team, yes, they are full AD, so... Maybe I just go Ninja Tabby, and then instead of Storm Razor, Phantom Dancer. Because that will then still be enough attack speed without some attack speed boots. I will try this this game. It looks good. In theory. Okay, I messed that up super hard. Ah... Uh. Wait for a few minion attacks. There we go. Tristana being short range early, so she can't really poke. But they are, he are a heavy all in lane. They are scary. Make no mistake. Also, Zack ganks are a thing. Yeah, we need to be careful this lane, for sure. Get some chip. Take it. Currently even in CS. Doing alright. Second point in Q. We have level advantage right now. But I doubt we can make anything with uh, happen with this. Because they have a uh, very safe lane. If they want to jump out, they can. Oh, there we go. Who would have thought? Unusual gank path, though. As a Zack, you typically jump over the wall. Right? Because why wouldn't you? It's more difficult to ward. More chip damage. Oh, he's jumping. Yeah, I lost both summoners here. Unlucky. But Pantheon Flash too, right? So it's okay. Or is it? Don't want a base here. Okay, Tristana base so we can hard push. And lose every single minion in the process. Yeah, should be good enough. I popped my potion before she channeled her base, so that's unfortunate. Had I realized she based earlier, I could have saved my potion. But it's okay. I don't have flash, so I want this. And mm, I actually wait for pickaxe here. Yeah. It's five seconds at this point. I will be there in time. <clears throat> okay, with boots, we are relatively safe, considering we don't have flash anymore. And no exhaust. Yeah, okay, I will be there before the wave crashes, which is all we need, really. We lose, like, a couple minions. But it's alright. Pantheon's here. Okay, now we can farm on the tower easily. Sack mid lane. Okay, we see Pantheon. We just need to be careful not to get all in. As long as they don't all in us, we're fine. And level 6, we can all in them right back because Rakan ulti plus misfortune. Enemy has 
Is Volibear still farming relatively well? Yeah, I also don't have a stealth ward ready. Well, I thought I was safe enough, but you see how quickly they close the gap. It's it's absurd, really. I mean, I didn't have much counterplay there, except for not be there in the first place, which would have been correct for sure. But well, <laughs> you saw what happened. Rakan delaying his... Oh, he's not delaying his death. He's actually getting away. Crazy. I was about to say delaying his death is pretty bad because then he will take longer to respawn. I mean, we will be asynchronous in our back timings, but that's fine, actually. Very good. Oof, that works. Let's get a plating here. Should just back off really. Don't feel like baiting Rakan into his death and then getting all into Petristana Pantheon. Wait. Okay. Um <laughs> I, I don't know. It, it's alright, it's alright. I can stay with low mana. My main concern was to not let Brakan die. Actually, I'm diveable, am I not? Yeah, there are six. Brakan, can you? Okay, works. Yeah, so far so good. We're almost even in CS. It's definitely okay. I can just go base here. It's overdue. And Tristana cannot freeze the wave anyway, so I don't need to worry about that. This game's wild. Everyone's hyper-aggressive. He lives, right? Right? I need to go to my lane. If I go there, I just lose too many minions. An ally has been slain. Yeah, just pushing. Okay, she does not get that plating. Perfect. At least not yet. I'm still 1v1, but Rakan is coming, actually. Okay, her E is on cooldown. Decent damage, definitely. Yeah, the team is doing well, especially Cassidy, considering he's a late game champion. Ooh, Tristana is so low. Nice, good job. Yeah, I don't know, I was so sure she was backing off because of her HP. But for some reason she stayed, I'm not sure what's, what, what uh, was going on in her head there. There's no way this is ever a good call. It's 
fast to delete the wave and go base for Kraken Slayer. Nice, perfect. We have a huge gold advantage. Yeah, Tristana is still sitting on components. She also finished Boots, which delayed her first item. Boots are good on Tristana early, so that's still good for her, but almost fortune not so much, especially not when you go Tabby, or plated steel caps, whatever they're called. And uh, this Kraken Slayer is a huge power spike. We can do so much with that. Okay, so she does get a plating here. I still have flash if I want to. No need though. Just kill them with autos. Yeah, nice. Very good gank. And very good for Khan and Gage too. Okay. What? How disgustingly strong is he? And actually is going AP. Mm. So tabbies don't look too... Don't look too efficient anymore if he goes AP. I thought he made go tank. But yeah, okay. With that information, we stick to Stormraiser. Yeah, I never expected Volibear to just 2v1 us through Rokan's crowd control. I need to handle bot lane. Okay, alright, don't handle bot lane. Yeah, this is brutal. I can't do anything about this. I obviously should have seen it coming, but I... Uh, I didn't for some reason. Oof, tough game. That yeah, Volibear is a big threat. Yeah, they're definitely catching up. They actually have an advantage, if you ask me, because of mid tower difference. Mid tower difference is like the best indicator to see which team is ahead. I need farm. So they got the shutdown. Oh, I thought we were committed here. Difficult. Okay, we see Zack, which makes everything way safer. She really tried to duel me. Had Rakan been there, she would have died instantly. That was very stupid of her. She might still die to Rengar now. Yeah. I don't get an assist anymore, but this still results from her play on me. And from the damage I've dealt. Lost so much farm already. It's frustrating. We need to catch up in CS. Luckily, I mean, this is the big upset of the Stormraiser build. The item is so incredibly cheap. Okay, 
Okay, get the wave under tower. Walk towards mid lane. I might be there in time. I have everything ready. I still have my ulti, but we're all in so big, such big trouble here. I need to clear. Chase them. Okay. So I'm just dead now, hmm? Try to help the Riven. Wow, that was so pointless. Ah, my team! Come on, dudes. You can do it. How did the solo lanes lose so many towers? It's incomprehensible. Well, we should have the better late game, so I'm not too, too worried. And she just wasted her jump. She's dead. Nice. Very good. Whew, we're getting there. Unless they keep doing this, of course. Drake in 10 seconds. Zero towers. Hmm. You need to be careful with this. I definitely can't be isolated. If I give Zack the opportunity to jump on me, I will get punished. That was the weirdest looking Pantheon stun ever. It hit me after my flash. That was a big distance between us, and I still got stunned. Hmm, I guess it's, uh, it's a difficult one. Not a s okay, one tower after 20 minutes. At least. <laughs> at least, better than nothing. Actually, part of me wishes I would've... Actually, no. Ninja Tabby wouldn't have made a difference here. Wouldn't have saved me. Like, not at all. There we go. I will give Cassid in the solo farm. Careful. Don't see them. Okay, we catch mid lane here. Very close to my item. In fact, I have it right now, don't I? Yeah. Not enough.
Careful. I need to back off. It's way too dangerous for me here. Yeah, Pantheon is eyeing me down already. I'm running. I don't want to get randomly Pantheon ulted. Also, this build is better at dealing with tanks because you get Stormraiser earlier, which means you get Lord Doms earlier. Oh, father. Yeah, okay, you can just bash on me and I die. But we still trade one for one. It's okay. <sighs> Obviously, Bloodthirster is also quite nice because you don't die as quickly due to the shield and the increased lifesteal. But yeah, you can't have it all, right? I just need to position more carefully. This is impossible, she just dies. Yeah. Okay, Riven Rage quit. So that's game, I suppose. If Riven doesn't return, our chances of winning are zero. Okay, she is there. Nice. Body bear. He has no flash at least. Oh boy. This game is so unnecessarily difficult. But at least I got my last whisper here. That will already help quite a bit against these tanky boys. Drake in 10 seconds. We can do it. Come on, just don't die. Yeah, that's a good collapse. Very solid. Please don't overdo it. There's nothing to gain there. All you need to do is farm super minions that cast it in scale. And try to get back into the game that way. Yeah, never mind that. Just disengage. Double kill. 
Good. No body bear. Get him. Okay. Can't approach. It's too dangerous. Way too dangerous. Get him. Please. Alright. I need to really make sure he doesn't randomly one-shot me. That's the biggest concern. Okay, let's refill my mana. But that game is so difficult. So the, the late game should be ours, though. It really should be. And at least we got the mid lane towers. Yeah, castle and scaling. Baron and 50. Riven can split bot lane. She does not have teleport. Wow. Yeah, this Cassidy. <laughs> He's cleaning up. I need help them with Bully Bear. Or with Tristana, either is fine. That's so much damage. Okay, yeah, so without Bloodthirster, your dueling power is undeniably lower. Okay. I need to base, though. I need to spend... Almost 2k damage with cutdown already. That's crazy. And now we have another cutdown and Lord Dom's. Big value. Riven dead. That's barren for them, for sure. Let's not get Volley Baird. We can trade Baron for Dragon, actually. I mean, what's our other option? Watch them take Baron, do nothing. We need to base here. We can't stick around. We need to protect the towers. Careful.
Zack gets away, huh? Yeah, it's alright. If Rengar doesn't have ulti, we can't get him. That was a good fight, though. I avoided the Volley Bear stuff. Super important. Rengar dies. Oh no, come on. Now we can't actually even take the tower. I need to just base. It's too dangerous. <sighs> Team, please. I deleted Tristana before she could do anything. But sure where Khan went in there, there was no reason to. Just let them teleport. And all I can do here is die now. By myself. The inhibitor lived. Crazy. Nice. This is a big opening. Maybe we can take their inhibitor. Tristana and Zack spawn. But they're not the scariest, actually. Well, we still need to recall. It's no use. My team is... Yeah, it's it's too greedy. We should play it as safe as possible, actually. Uh, I guess I want a last item Bloodthruster, right? Preferably starting with a BF sword. <coughs> Yeah, it's okay. I need my item real quick. Drake in 50. <coughs> it's gonna be a decisive fight. If we take that soul, then that's very good for us, obviously. Just don't die right now. And we have a good chance. Good. Finish. Oof. That was a difficult one. But that last engage was pretty good. Also, I managed to not die for more than 20 minutes, probably. So I ended up legendary. Yeah, not dying is <laughs> very much the key to playing AD carry, by the way. In case you wonder. Oof, most damage. Even more than the Hyperfet Cassidy 
Wow. Yes, yeah, so a Storm Razor. It's interesting to think about how this game would have gone had I picked Bloodthirster. I probably wouldn't have died as easily, but I also would have gotten my very important Lord Dominic's regards 700 gold later, which is crucial. So it's an interesting trade. 3,300 cutdown damage. Anyway, um, yeah, all in Misfortune build with Storm Razor. I think this item has potential. I really do. I need to test it more though. If you want to see the Bloodthirster version, click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.